morning, I'm Dr. Brian Mills from Mountain View, California. Today I want to be showing you matrix fabrication for a level 3 wax up. So I hope what you see is going to be helpful. So today we're going to show you how to fabricate a matrix of a level 3 wax up. This would be considered a moderate level 3 wax up and the technique I'm going to show you, you can go directly off your wax up so it eliminates the need for fabricating a stone duplicate model. One of the materials we're going to be using is a material called Capture. This is, you can get this at Glidewell. It's a clear polyvinyl and so let's go ahead and make one. First you want to do is I found if you just lubricate the wax very slightly and this material is Ney Stone Dye Lube. It'll prevent plucking of the wax up in the wax when you're taking your fabricated matrix off. Okay, so all we're going to do is take our material and we're going to just do one on the anteriors. So you're going to go ahead and express this material. And then I just take a little lubricant material here. And you're just going to lightly smooth that out. And you want to try to get it so it's a fairly even thickness. This material sets fairly fast, so you need to kind of work fast. That's about it. Let's let that set. Okay, so the material is completely set. And we got on the linguals nice and smooth. And you can see it's a pretty consistent thickness all the way through. All you're going to do is just take a number 15 or whatever blade you're comfortable with. And you want to cut it just below the edge of the wax up. So let's go ahead and just do that. And once we do that, Okay, so we had a nice even cut there, and on the lingual, this is a little long, same thing. Just come in here and just cut that. And now when you peel this off, you're just going to very lightly tease it off. Okay. Nice adaptation, and that matrix is completed. Let's try it on the unprepped model. So here we have the unprepped model, unrestored model from our patient. And I go into a lot more detail about matrix design and why in the actual level three tutorial for composite edition. But just in review, here's our model, it fits on. And if you notice, there's quite a bit of wax addition and if I press on this material, it distorts. So on the posteriors, there's adequate stops to keep it from doing that. But on the anterior, I can really distort that. So what we do is we're going to go ahead and now fabricate a hard shell matrix over the top of this. We're going to be using Triad Gel Clear Colorless by Dent Supply. And What you do is we're just going to flow a thin layer over it. Okay. And this is kind of like thick honey, this material. So you get it here. And then you can just lightly tap it, or if you happen to have a lab vibrator, you can go ahead and do that. As long as it comes down to just above here, and some on the lingual, it'll distribute the forces evenly enough. Now, it's really important, we're going to go ahead and just set this material. 
Don't stick this in your triad oven. Uh, it will melt the wax. And how do I know that? I've ruined uh, a few wax ups in the past and had to redo them. So just do this, just to tack it. So now we've set our material and you can just lift it off and you can put this in your triad unit now and finish curing it. So as you can see without that, I can really distort these anteriors by overseeding the tray. Okay. Now, if you place this and hold where there's no distortion, it'll completely and evenly distribute your forces and won't overseat your matrix and distort your composite addition. Is after you've done this, you can go ahead and pull this off your wax up and then put the shell in your triad unit to finish the curing but don't put your wax up in your triad unit. So the final thing that you'll need to do to prep your matrix to take it to the patient's mouth is decide where you're gonna place your vent holes or your access holes. Uh, don't put them right on the incised ledge. You spend a lot of time putting the proper anatomy on there, getting all the proper occlusal stops there. You wanna come down just a little bit off the incised ledge if there's a large facial addition, which usually there is. And that will allow you to fill the facial and tip your composite syringe tip up a little bit and go over the incisal and it'll wrap onto the lingual, usually without a problem. So plan your pilot holes wisely and it'll minimize your work and keep your occlusion accurate during the transfer process.